Hey guys and welcome to another video on Jay's workshop. Today I'll be fitting some Brembo brake pads to my own car because I've got some Polo 1.26 So first one I'm gonna do is release these security caps, loosen the nuts, jack the car up and place them on axle stands. This is the tool you need that you usually find in the boot of your car with a spare tire. Just pop them in there. Put that. Been a bit tough. Put both sides on axle stands. Now to fully remove the wheels. Just gonna place the wheel down. And what I'm gonna do is fully lock the wheel left towards me because we're working on this side first. And then I'll show you guys what to do. The wheel fully left. As I'm working on the passenger side first, first you have to take these caps off, that's caps. Like that, just one. Just one at the bottom. Yep. Next. In the H7, where is it? H7 Allen key head. It's a special tool. You can use a normal H7 Allen key as well. And place it in here. Yes, <coughs> no. Same with the bottom. <sighs> Just gonna loosen them off now. Okay, I've taken off the two caliper guide bolts here. One, two, I've just left them in the rubber casing now. You can fully take them out, but I've just left them in for now. So this should hopefully just come out now. Okay, so you gotta just tuck it up first and then out and away. Okay. So what we do next is pulling out these old brake pads. As you can see, I've taken out the old brake pads. They just literally pull out without any problems, nice and easy. What I'm going to be doing, because I'm not replacing my discs, I'm just going to remove it with this Torx key and just give it a good clean and put it back on. So guys, if you're taking off the disc, there's a T30 Torx you need to use. So if you was replacing this, this is the same procedure you'll be doing. Simply remove this T30 torque screw and take it to disc, like so. But I'm not going to be replacing them, I'm just going to be cleaning them up and then putting them back on. I'm just giving the wheel hub a good clean down as well. And with a wire brush. And I'll wire brush these points off where the pads slide on. I just put a piece of bag behind the hub. What I'm gonna do is just spray the middle hub with some copper gas. Like so. Now, ready to put the uh, disc back. Getting the disc a wipe down. Can place it back on the hub. 
like so and then I have to get this torx screw and screw it back in this one with the torx what I need to do now is push this piston back so I'll be getting my piston rewind tool and then I'll just simply be rewinding it back fully until it compress as you can see it's fully pushed back now so next thing I've got to do now is put the new pads in so I'll be placing them in first the inner one and then the outer one will click into this frame here simply just pops into place there and the back one pushes in as well so just put some anti-seize on these lines where the brake pad will slide on they sit on it's just any anti-seize grease you can use or even copper grease when placing the pads in you have to tuck the bottom in first Try and get that to tuck in first on both sides. It's a bit tricky with one hand. thing is the bottom of the caliper you have to tuck that in first and the brake pad should be on the outside so one bit goes on that side which is the ca actual caliper and the brake pad sits behind so that's tucked in nicely now now we've got to tighten up these glider bolts I'm just gonna give them a quick scrub down with a bit of sandpaper wire brush and then grease them up and put them back in so I've greased up the glider pins put them back in what I'm going to do first is just simply hand tighten them into the right place like so and then I'll fully tighten them off now with the ratchet So I've fully tightened the glider bolts out now. So this is fully done now. I've just got to put these two dust covers back on. Dust caps. Simply just pop in. Like so. Same with the bottom one. Okie dokie. So what I'll do now is put the wheel back on. Get in the cab, pump the brakes. And yeah guys, that's how you change your front brake pads on a Volkswagen Polo 6R. And if you wanted to change the disc as well, I've given you an example of how to change it. But in this case, obviously I haven't changed them. I've just simply removed them, give them a clean and put them back on. Thanks.